Hey guys, it's Jigbear here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use a PS3 controller as a mouse on your Mac. This may work for PC and for Xbox 360 controllers, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. I'll post the download link in the description for the application. Okay, let's get started. First off, you have to download the program. I've already downloaded it, so I don't need to do it again. So once the download is completed, you can open the program, click Virtual Controllers, then click the little M at the bottom, the left hand corner. Once that is done, just name it PS3 Controller or whatever and click Update Controller. Once that is done, grab the PS3 Charger and plug it into your computer and then connect the other end to your PS3 Controller. Press the PS button. Make sure your Bluetooth is on and you're connected to PlayStation controller. Then click on programming and click the green P at the bottom left hand corner. Then bring up the palette by clicking window and palette. Then new palette. From there click controllers. And then click on the Bluetooth controller that you just connected. Then find the Z axis at the bottom of the list and drag that onto the scripting board. Now find the RZ rotation and drag that next to Z axis. Now I'll go back to your palette and click on the drop down menu and select calculations and find the axis calibration and drag that under both Z axis and RZ rotation. Now click window and click on inspector window and then new inspector. Once you have done that, click on the calibrations you just placed and now edit the exact numbers as I do. Z axis, input range minimum 5, maximum 244, output range minimum minus 2, maximum 2. RZ rotation will be the same exact input as you just entered. Once that is done, go back to your palette and click on controllers in the drop down menu. Then find the one you created at the beginning. Then click on it. Then find X axis and drag that under the calibration for the Z axis. Then find Y axis and drag that under the calibration for RZ rotation. Once you have done that, now it should be working. Your right toggle stick should be your mouse now. You can deactivate the controller at any time just by turning your Bluetooth off. You can also configure more buttons to do more things. Please rate and subscribe.